Trump told Israel to ban the only two Muslim congresswomen. President Trump putting pressure on Israel to deny entry to two American congresswomen who were planning to visit. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> A short while back, the incompetent leader of the free world told four of his own congresswomen to go back home in a barrage of racist tweets and talks. They hate our country. They hate it, I think, with a passion. Even though three out of four of them were born in the US. Why, I hear you ask? Duh. It's because they criticized a democratically elected leader in a democracy. <laughs> that's like getting kicked out of McDonald's for ordering a Big Mac. If that's not enough, Trump outsourced his hate to the one, the only, Prime Minister of Israel. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He put pressure on the Prime Minister not to allow these two congresswomen to enter the country. You'd think that the only democracy in the Middle East would be the first ones to tell him Yo, Trump behave yourself, we're not gonna be a part of this injustice. Who are we kidding? They of course obeyed the president and lied about the reason that they refused them entry. Israel had to give a different reason, you know, because of legal consequences, so they claimed it was because of their support of the boycott. But we both know it's not because of that, because they've been vocal in their support for the boycott since 2018. I've not only supported and called for boycott um, of, of Israel. She said, I personally support the BDS, that's the boycott movement. And not to mention the Israeli ambassador, knowing all this, still allowed them access a couple of weeks ago. That is of course until Trump called up. The White House was of course defending him, <laughs> Even Trump admitted But I did speak to people over there, yeah. You cannot criticize Israel. Yeah, that's right, because if you choose to do that, you're gonna be linked to hating all Jews. Even though many Israelis hate Iran. But no one's gonna say that because they hate Iran, they hate all Muslims. This was worse for Rashida because her grandmother lives in the occupied West Bank. She wrote them a letter asking if she would be granted access. They obliged but they gave her loads of restrictions. After some thinking, she was like, you know what, this is just not worth it. I'm gonna be sacrificing all my ideals and they're gonna be using my grandmother as an excuse. It's one thing that I can't get my head around. Trump told Rashida to go back home. She got ready to go back home, then he called to get her banned from going back home. I'm more confused than a bold guy at the barbers asking for a number two. It just goes to show guys, they want you to learn the language, you learn the language. They want you to integrate more in society, you integrate more in society. They want you to help the country and pull your weight. You work your way all the way up to a congresswoman and it's still not enough. This reminds me of the verse of the Quran to the nearest meaning which says these people are only gonna be happy if you relinquish your whole deen mate. Yeah, Un <laughs> unless you do that, they're just not gonna be happy mate. Bottom line I would suggest is stick by your principles, stick by your religion and you know what, if you're doing what you're doing and you're good at it, eventually you're gonna Muhammad Salah them. Eventually you're gonna Habib Narmega Med of them. Eventually you're gonna Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X them. Now I mean, alright guys, let's leave it there. Until next time, Salaamu Alaikum.